The power of ideas. They can make us smile. They can make us cry. They can inspire action. They can conquer defeat. They can launch a movement or stop us in our tracks. Sometimes they're big. Sometimes they're small. They can make us just do it or make us think different or feel the infatuation of youth or make us as stubborn as a mule. Yet their only power lies in us. As branders, we live to usher in the future, not stroke the past. While it might ruffle some feathers, it often can advance culture. But whether it's a life, or a brand, or an inspiration, it comes down to an idea, which then ripples to agitate more ideas. We call this ROI, Return on Ingenuity. And this ingenuity is what separates the remarkable from the commodity, or the disruptor from the also ran. But there's a trap to avoid, success and failure. We must realize neither success nor failure is permanent. They are themselves fleeting and transient. It's because the biggest mistake occurs when we stop at either of these points. If we succeed and stop, we've lost because any forward momentum will shrivel up since its source of power, us, is no longer feeding it with life, dreams, goals, and energy. If, on the other hand, we ran into an obstacle and stopped, a little hiccup becomes the end of a dream. So it's stopping that is the culprit. So when introducing ideas into the world, remember this. Stopping is never the right option and is, in fact, the only thing that can ever defeat us in branding, in creating, in life. <laughs>